Hello everybody, this is Jay, and these are mobile game reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! Today we have a game from the Cult FIFA series. I must confess that I'm not a huge fan of soccer, what most of the world calls football, and so I've played the previous games in the series only a little bit. Nevertheless, I decided to make a review for this game since I know a lot of football fans who use Android and were eagerly awaiting for this game to arrive. I got interested myself with just how far the series has advanced. So welcome! FIFA 14 for Android from EA Games. Well, I've downloaded the game, 1.3 gigabytes in size by the way. It would seem like a lot, but judging from the description here, we have more than 16,000 real players, 33 leagues, and more than 600 teams. So it justifies the considerable size. By the way, you'll have an opportunity to unlock new players through coins, which can be earned during the game. Oh, by the way, the game is free. But don't be too happy just yet, my dear fans of balls rolling around green fields. The thing is that only a few modes of the game are free. They are Ultimate Team, Quick Network Game, Log in through an Origin account, choose a team and start playing, a series of penalties, and the Match of the Week. This mode seemed to be the most interesting to me, as you'd be offered a list of games that would really take place on the following week. But the Career Trainer, Tournament, and Quick Match modes are initially locked and will become unlocked only when you pay for them. Yeah, that's the catch. Okay, let's move on to graphics and gameplay. From what I can tell, there are no grand overall changes in terms of graphics. When compared to the mobile version of FIFA 13, you can tell it's a little better, but the changes are pretty minor. Another thing is the animation. This time, all the moves are rendered better and more realistic. The physics are improved, and the interaction with the ball also gets to a new level. In short, everything here is noticeably better. By the way, they told me that the game model's faces don't really resemble the faces of their originals. The way that fails go, this is certainly no whale. Maybe it's a failed dolphin. Yeah, that'll work. Failed dolphin. As there were some concerns over the controls before, a touch control was added in addition to the standard joystick control on the left and the buttons on the right. Though I'd have liked it better if they hadn't done it, since it came out to be rather confusing and uncomfortable in the long run. There are training matches for the thing, though, but it was difficult to play those even. So in my mind, the novelty edition ended up woefully unfinished. Okay, let's go to the results. The minus is that the game will lug a little on old devices, but that's sure to be expected. They are old, after all. Besides that, I was upset about having to pay to unlock certain modes of the game. They could have simply made you pay a reasonable price for the whole game, but no. Pluses. Well, if you're a football lover, you'll surely be able to find your favorite club and players here and play them. Overall, it does have nice graphics and realistic physics. That's all for today. Subscribe to the channel and put likes on everything, especially this review, which was totally awesome, right? It's that thing with the thumbs up sign, you know, right over there. Anyway, this was Jay. Bye-bye.